Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to install, Apache 2.4 and PHP 8, on a Ubuntu machine. The Ubuntu version I am using here, is 20.04.3 LTS. If you are using another version of Ubuntu, it really doesn't matter. What we are doing here, is almost same for other Debian based Linux distributions. With that being said, let's install Apache. Alright, at first, open a terminal in the desktop. Okay, now, we will do everything with the help of this terminal. And of course, make sure that you are connected to the internet. Alright, it is important to update the app package list, before installing anything. In order to update the package list, we can use the command, app space update. Administrative privileges are required to run this command. If you are not logged in as the root user, to get a temporary admin privilege, we can use the command sudo. Adding sudo before a command will help to run it, with admin privileges. So, let's run the command with sudo. If you are using sudo first time in this terminal, it will ask for the user password. Enter the password, and the execution will continue. Ok, now the package list is updating. This will take some time. Alright, package list updated. Now we can install Apache, with the command, app space install, space Apache 2. Again, we have to use sudo here. Instead of typing sudo again and again, we can give this terminal a temporary root permission, with the command sudo space, minus i. See, the dollar sign is now changed into a hash symbol. Whenever you see this hash symbol in the terminal prompt, it means that it has root privileges. Now, we can run this installation command, without sudo. So, let's run it. Okay, it is now asking whether install this package or not. Enter Y here, and the installation will begin. Okay, installation has started. Depending on your network speed, this may take some time. Alright, Apache package has been installed. When the installation completes, Apache service starts automatically. To see the service status, you can run the command, systemctl space status, space Apache 2. See, Apache service is already running. Now we can access this server on a browser. Access the local host address, and you will see a default HTML page, provided by Apache. If your machine is part of a LAN, you can access this page from other computers on the network, with your IP address. The page you see here is located inside the var, www.html directory. This is our web root directory. Let's open this file with a text editor. As you can see here, now it is in read-only mode. Don't worry, we will deal with it later. Alright, now let's see which version of Apache is installed. You can check the Apache version by the command, Apache 2 space, minus V. Well, this is not the latest version. This is the stable version of Apache, which was available when this Ubuntu version was released. Don't worry, we will update it soon. For now, let's install PHP. To install PHP, use the command, app space install, space PHP. Here, along with PHP, we have to install an Apache library, libapache 2 mod php Without this library, Apache cannot handle PHP files and requests. Ok, again it is asking to continue. Enter Y here, and the installation will start. Alright, PHP is now installed. Let's check the PHP version. To get the installed PHP version, use the command php space, minus v. Ok, our PHP version is 7.4. Now let's check whether the PHP module is loaded in Apache or not. To see all the loaded modules in Apache, we can use the command, Apache CTL space, minus M. Here, M is in uppercase. Well, these are the modules currently enabled. Here is our PHP 7 module. Now we need a PHP file, to test our setup. Let's go to our document root. Like I said earlier, here we do not have the permission to create, or modify files. There are multiple ways to deal with it, but here we will do it in a simple way. All we need, is a file manager, with root privileges. And, in this terminal, we already have root privilege. So, to open a file manager, we can use the command, Nautilus. See, this is the same file manager, and now it has root privileges. 
All right then, let's go to our document route. Now we can create files and folders here. For now, let's use this index file. At first, change the file extension to PHP. Okay, now, let's add some PHP code. Alright, our page is ready, let's test it on the browser. Awesome, our PHP is working. Although it is enough to continue our development, these are not the latest versions. As I mentioned earlier, these are the stable version, at the time of this Ubuntu version release. To get latest features and security, we have to update these applications to the latest release. Let's see how to do that in a simple way. There is a guy, Andre Suri. In his PPA, which is the short form of Personal Package Archive, we can get the latest release of these applications. If you search for, Andre Suri PPA, for Apache, you will find his Launchpad site. In case you wonder, Launchpad is a collaborative site, for open source application. If you scroll down, you will see that the latest version of Apache is available here. So, how do we update it? At first, we have to add this PPA, in our source list. To do that, the command is already given here. Let's copy this, and run it on our terminal. This command already starts with sudo. As we already got the root permissions, we can remove it if we want to, but it is not necessary. Okay, now let's run it. Now it's asking, whether you want to continue or not. Of course we want to continue, so, hit the enter key. Alright, repository is added. Now we have to update the package list again, so that it could get the packages, from this new repository we just added. So, let's update it. Okay, now we can upgrade our Apache server application. There are a couple of ways to do this. Normally we could run the command, app space upgrade, and it will upgrade all the packages, which has a later version available, in the package list. Although it is the better option, it will take more time, and bandwidth. I just want to upgrade Apache only. As in another method, we can run the installation command, app space install, space Apache 2 again. This will upgrade the existing package, if there is a latest version available. However, there is a problem with this approach. I will talk about it later. For now, let's run the command. Alright, Apache package is now upgraded. Let's check it on the browser. Excellent, it is working. You can find the current version here, or in the terminal. Either way it's fine. Now it's time to upgrade PHP. I think, now you've already got the idea about what we are going to do next. Okay then, let's find the PPA for PHP. Okay, this is the same launch pad site. As we did earlier, run this command to add this PPA into our repository list. Alright, now update the package list. Okay, now we can upgrade PHP. For that, we can run the PHP installation command. However, there is an issue, which I was talking about earlier. PHP 7.4 is already installed in this machine, and the version we are going to install is 8.0. As they both are a major release of the same package, instead of upgrading, PHP 8 will be installed separately. So, if we run the installation command now, there will be two instances of PHP available on this machine. Alright then, let me run this command, and you will see what I meant. One thing to be noted here is, the Apache library for PHP, libapache2modphp, is selected here automatically. Alright, PHP is installed. Now, let's check the PHP version. Good. PHP 8.0.12 is installed. As we have a newer version of PHP, let's restart the Apache service, to get these changes reflected. Use the command, systemctl space restart, space apache2, to restart the service. Okay, now, let's see it in the browser. See, in the PHP info page, current version is still 7.4. If we list all the loaded Apache modules, you will see that the PHP 7 module is still loaded. So, now we have to disable the PHP 7 module, and enable PHP 8. In Apache, to disable a module, use the command, a 2 dis mode, space the module name. Let me show the manual. 
Here, with the command, A2EN mod, we can enable a module, and with A2DIS mode, disable a module. Alright then, let's disable PHP 7 first. So, use the command, A2DIS mode space, PHP 7.4. Okay, PHP 7 is now disabled. Now let's enable PHP 8. Use the command, A2EN mod space, PHP 8.0. Okay, now let's restart the Apache service, to make these changes reflected. Alright, now, let's check it in the browser. Excellent, now we have the latest version of Apache, and PHP. You can switch back to PHP 7 anytime, if you want to. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you learned something new, please help the channel to grow. See you in the next video, and as always, thank you for watching.